Time now. There are some new questions about security at the World Trade Center site as a group of men who allegedly parachuted off the Freedom Tower turns themselves into police. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is live in Lower Manhattan with more for us. Tracy? Well, four men accused of a base jumping stunt off of One World Trade Center last September are here in police custody right now. Just last week, a New Jersey teen was caught sneaking up to the spire. And while these men here in custody will likely face some serious charges, the bigger issue is how did these guys sneak past security? Now, around 3.30 this afternoon, 32-year-old Andrew Rossick, 33-year-old James Bradu, who sources tell us actually worked as a construction worker at the Site at the time, and one of the other men, along with their lawyers, walked into the police station to surrender after they allegedly parachuted from the Freedom Tower. The three men in total made the daring jump while one man stayed on the ground as a lookout. Surveillance video captured the men uh, landing in front of the Goldman Sachs building. And police sources tell us these known daredevils squeezed through a hole in the fence, climbed the stairs 104 flights up, and then leapt from the top of the tower. Now, these men were originally supposed to surrender this Thursday, but according to their lawyers, they say police demanded they surrender today by 5 o'clock. The lawyers believe the change of dates is in response to last week's uh, security breach when that New Jersey team was able to sneak past security, climb to the spire, and take pictures. The lawyers believe the Port Authority and the police department are embarrassed by these two stunts, which has obviously exposed a major hole in security at One World Trade Center. It was one of the first things my client said to me was that how surprised he was uh, at how there was no security whatsoever, how easy it was to just walk right up there in something that you know the mayor has just recently described as the number one terrorist target in the world. So, did they encounter any security whatsoever? None. Thank None you. at all. While no charges have been filed yet, officially they could face criminal trespassing, burglary, and reckless endangerment charges. We're live tonight in Lower Manhattan. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.